Hello, my purple bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we defeated Nimbasa City's gym leader, Eliza, for the Bolt Badge. In today's episode, we are going to try and make our way out of here and see if we can make it to the next town. Oh, looks like we're getting stopped. Yoo-hoo, Rodri! I just had a look at the musical theater. It's so cool. Since you're here, come on, Rodri. Come with me. Over here, over here. Ooh, look at me. We're going on a stroll with Bianca, guys. This is so exciting. All right, where are you taking us? Uh, apparently, we're headed to the theater. Uh, I mean, maybe we get to watch a show, catch a movie. Maybe I'll take you out to dinner after. Okay, we're here. Let's go in. All right, let's go inside. And it's a musical theater. Oh, no. What did I get myself into? Oh, amazing, isn't it? Hello, you two. How do you do? I'm the owner of this theater. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, I must say that you two seem like phenomenal trainers. What do we do here? We use props to make your Pokemon fashionable and glamorous. Do you want to join in and play dress up to get you started? Here's a prop case. We got a prop case that is pink. Woo! This prop case lets you store props for decorating your Pokemon. First off, you need to pick a Pokemon. Okay, I guess it's gonna be you, Roran. Then it's time to play dress up! Oh, oh. Are you serious right now? Oh, oh, Roran. I am so sorry about this. Oh, we let's dress up Roran with props. Oh, Roran, I am so sorry I'm gonna have to do this to you. All right, I'm giving you a pink bow tie. I'm gonna be giving you a pink umbrella. You know what? Might as well give you this skirt looking thing. Um, come here, put this skirt looking thing on. What else do I got over here? I got you like a lollipop or something. Alright, you now nah, you can't you can't hold the lollipop. How about some glasses? You want some glasses, Roran? Oh man, this makes for a picture perfect finish. That looks beautiful, Roran. You look like a classy lady. Alright, so there we go. We just dressed up Roran. I'm so sorry, Roran. Wow, the two of you did a fantastic job coordinating everything. Utterly charming. If you have a Pokemon who can play dress up, you can participate in the Pokemon musical. Would you two please join us? The receptionist can explain everything. Let us say a brief farewell. I eagerly anticipate seeing you on stage. Alright, see you later, old man who made me dress up Roran. Ew! I don't know what to do! Doing the musical would be totally cool, but there's other stuff I want to do. Okay, that's it. I made up my mind. I'm gonna see the sights in Mombasa. See you, Rodri! See you later, Bianca. Thanks for that traumatizing experience. Which I know Roran will never forget. Daddy! What are you doing here? I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me that you'd made it all the way out here. Haven't you gone far enough? No way! I'm going to keep traveling with Rodri and my Pokemon! Don't bring me into this! Absolutely not! Others do things their way, and we do things ours. Is that so? Then how about you do things your way and I'll do things mine? Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Hey, who do you think you are? This is a family matter. My name is Eliza. I'm this town's gym leader. I also happen to be a model. You know, there are many people in this world. There are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes this means you may get hurt. Of course. That's exactly right. It's because I'm worried about that. But it's important to keep trying to learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon at their side. Pokemon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. Please! I know there's gonna be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it. But like, listen, there will be tons of nice people too. No one else. Since I've been traveling with Pokemon, I've already gotten tougher. I can totally tell. So please. Hmm. I guess. If wanting to continue your journey is selfishness on your part, wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. I'm surprised to find I'm the one being childish at my age. This gym leader's comments helped me wake up. Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you take the path you want to take now. I hope that your journey will be fun. Bon voyage. Rodri, please take care of my little girl, okay? Why do they keep leaving me in charge of her? We're the same age! Papa, I'll come home after I find out what I really want to do! I'm sure he traveled as a trainer himself in the past. Being a parent must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? You look troubled, so I decided to chime in. 
I'm sorry, Rodri. I'll be waiting on Route 5. All right, see you later, Eliza. Catch up with you soon. She's so cool, huh? I want to be a totally cool woman like Eliza. Mm, I wonder how I'll get there. I bet you Rorin wants to be a cool woman like Eliza, too. Oh! Well, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Rodri. All right, catch you later. Bianca, let's make our way to Route 5 now. Seems like a lot of stuff is happening around here. Uh, a lot of uh, crazy stuff going on with Eliza and Bianca. So many ladies in our life and we're so young. It is February 1st, the start of a new month, the start of a new season. We have made it to Route 5. Hey, what up, Sharon? Rodri, stop! You've got a bolt badge, I've got a bolt badge. Let's test who's stronger, you or me. This time, I'm gonna win. Here we go, Rodri versus Sharon. All right, bring it on, Sharon, our buddy friend, pal. Let's see if we can beat you. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Sharon, who has four Pokemon. His first one is Lipard. Ooh, I remember Lipard. We'll see if we can kick some butt. I mean, we defeated Eliza, who was really difficult, so I expect this to be a little bit easier than that. Let's go for the Razor Shell. I also have Water Pulse now, which I should probably try out eventually. I think I'm gonna try it out. You know what, let's just give it a shot. Let's go for the Water Pulse, and let's see how much damage that's gonna do to this Lipard. I know cats don't like water, technically, but I don't know if that's gonna help at all. All right, here we go. We went for the Water Pulse. We'll see how much it does to it. Oh, uh, that did a good amount. I see, I'm surprised you chose that move. I knew you were going to. See, guys, you know, after you, you were friends with someone for a while, you kind of get this, like, you know, mental connection. I don't know if it's just me and my friends, but what I've realized is, like, even if we're, you're just talking online or something, or, you know, you're chatting right next to each other, and uh, you're just like, you just, you just know what the other person is thinking, and you just have, like, this mental link. It's always pretty cool. All right, Servine is coming up next, so we're going to switch out and bring out Darunia. Let's do it, Darunia. Let's uh, mess the Servine up. Another good thing about that, um, about Servine... Well, about us going up against Servine is that we have two Pokemon that are super effective against it. So that is always going to come in handy. Let's go for the Fire Punch, and we should be able to take it down. Darunia is going to use it. All right, Darunia, let's go ahead and do this. I always like battling Sharon. I don't know why. I like battling Sharon and Bianca quite a bit. I just feel like it's a nice little break from running around, going for roots, doing all the crazy stuff. Lumi's growing levels like no tomorrow. Um, hypnosis. Yeah, let's forget something for hypnosis. I like that. I like hypnosis. Uh, crunch, bite, bite. All right, we're gonna forget bite. Just because I, I like hypnosis. It will uh, might come in handy. You never know. Someday might come where Lumi will save the day. Panpour is coming out. I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. We're gonna bring out Floater to handle it. Um, and yeah, you never know. Like, uh, it's the least expected times when uh, Lumi might come in handy. You never know. All right, Floater, let's do this. Panpour is out. You know what? We're actually putting quite a whooping on this guy right now. I think, um, you know, slowly but surely, our team's gonna come together to where we can counter pretty much anything. And I'm looking forward to that day. Uh, as you know, we still have two Pokemon which you can add. And uh, you guys have actually told me quite a bit of Pokemon. Uh, for your suggestions to add to the team. Uh, so I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, soon enough, we will have that completed uh, team. Oh, wow, two HP. Nice, I should be able to take it down with the air cutter. So very cool. We barely survived that, but we took down Pampor. And what's next? You know what, just bring it on now, just bring it on. Um, next is Tranquil, so I'm gonna switch out and we are gonna bring out Shades. All right, Shades, handle Tranquil. Because I guess me and Sharon have a similar Pokemon there. Who would have thought? All right, Tranquil is gonna come out and we should be able to take it down with our shades who helped us out quite a bit in the last gym um okay i'm gonna go for the sand tomb first of all let's see how much damage the sand tomb will do to this bird I, I i'm honestly not too sure so i'm hoping it does quite a bit it doesn't affect why in the mother does that thing not work okay i'm gonna go for the assurance i i need to find a a rock type move to give to shades for sure just so it starts coming in more handy all right let me go for the assurance i don't know if the yeah the assurance should be able to damage this thing um wow we're taking quite a whooping here all right let's see how much damage the assurance will do probably a lot yeah it did it did a good amount um i'll just keep going with the assurance why not i don't see sharon healing up his pokemon at any time right now so we should be able to take it down here roost no why come on Take it easy. I almost had you there. All right. Okay. Okay, Tranquil. Heal yourself up. Do what you have to do. I'm going to go for the assurance once again. Uh, we won't be able to take it down unless we hit a crit. That was close. Another roost? Quit 
spamming that! Oh, okay, wait, what am I thinking? Oh, wait, we have a certain move that can stop that from happening! Alright, Torment, let's go ahead and use you, so then this little Tranquil uh, can't use the same move twice! Oh, look at that! That is smart! Didn't think of that one. Alright, so he's healed up um, at full HP now, but you know what? You can't do that again. You're not pulling that crap. Alright, so let's go for the insurance now. I'm not sure if Dig would actually work on it, um, but we'll find that out, I guess. Alright. Oh, come on! You are an annoying Tranquil! Thank you, finally! Maybe we'll be able to KO this bird. Hopefully I hit a crit. That's what I'm hoping for. Yes, use the air cutter by all means. Oh, man, I'm probably gonna die. That's cool. Oh, crap. Okay, I am down. Shades is fainted. Yay! I'm just gonna send out Darunia. Darunia is very powerful and should be able to one-hit this annoying bird. I, I, keep, I keep having problems um, with flying-type Pokemon. I really need to find a counter to that very soon. Um, I definitely know that you guys have suggested a couple, so very soon we will be adding someone that will be able to handle them for us. Alright, dude, chill with the roost! Okay, I don't know why this bird's giving me so much trouble when we kicked all his other Pokemon's butts. Uh, Alright, let me go for it this time. Come on, fire punch him! Are you serious right now? I'm about to eat this, this bird for dinner. I'm not even kidding. I just ate some chicken. I will literally cook you up and eat you too. I'm not even hungry, but I will do it. Okay, uh, mind you, it's not over yet. Well, hopefully it is. So I'm gonna go for the Fire Fang, finally. Oh my, are you freaking kidding me, bird? Oh my gosh, this bird has got to be the most annoying Pokemon ever. Almost as worse as the Yamolkas. The Yamolkas were pretty dang bad. Thank you, finally, get out of here. We gained a bunch of XP. Lumi grew to level 19, we defeated Pokemon Trainer Sharon. Well, you were strong as usual! We got 5,200 for winning. Why? Why can't I beat you? Oh, you two are friends. That's nice. Are you helping each other get better by competing? Okay, let's go. Oh, why if it isn't Eliza? On festivals, Grand, life should be enjoyed. Who is this man? This is Alder, the Unova Region's champion. Champion? Why would the champion be goofing off in a place like this? I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? My name is Alder. I'm the Unova Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon from New Vima Town. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. Hmm, traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming the champion? What else is there other than striving to become stronger? The strongest trainer, that's the champion. Hmm, becoming stronger, becoming stronger, you say. Is that alone enough of a goal? Hmm. It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important too. If you play with those children, you might gain more of an understanding. Will you two have a Pokemon battle with those two? Hey, you two, come here for a moment. Understood, but before that... Okay, so it looks like we are gonna have a battle. Okay, let's battle. Here we go, we are teaming up with Sharon to battle two little boys. Oh, a little boy and a girl. Oh, this is embarrassing. We're battling two preschoolers. Come on, man! Really? I just beat Eliza, who's a model. And now we're going against some preschoolers. You know what? Fine. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sharon, you better not mess this up, man. I'm not even kidding right now, Sharon. You better step your game up right now. Okay. Uh, ooh, here we go. I'm gonna go for the water pulse on Hurtier. All right, we'll see how much damage that does. Please knock out this Hurtier. Hey, looks like we're aiming for the same one. Good thinking there. I don't know if we'll be able to KO it. Hey, but at least we attack the same one. Good job, Sharon. I think we got that psychic connection I've been talking about going. Oh, you have a berry. That's cool. How do these little preschoolers... I, I thought you couldn't even get a Pokemon until you're 10. So how in the heck do these preschoolers, who I'm guessing are like four, maybe five, how do they have Pokemon that are level 26? I don't know. Um, I guess that's the way the world works.
because I really have no idea. All right, we are doing this one more time. Can you use something other than pursuit? Like seriously, I'm probably gonna take down this herd here by myself then, um, unless you start helping me out a little bit. Wow, I'm down. What? Uh, great. We almost lost this battle. Yay! I'm bringing out shades. Wow. Okay. Uh, Roran got KO'd. That. Wow. Okay. I'm going for the dig then and trying to take out one of these because it looks like it's going to be a little bit tougher than we thought. All right. Here we go, guys. Shades getting some XP. All right. Let's do this, Shades. Bur burrow down. And, we, you know, we're trying to show this to the champion right now. We might be battling that guy someday if, I, if I'm right. I, I think. Yes. Yes. All right. So let's go for the dig. Pampor. Cool. Okay. So we can use more than one Pokemon. Thank goodness. I remember battling before where you could only use one. And that was always a pain in the butt. Okay. Can we do this? Sweet. Herdier is down. And with that, we have defeated preschoolers. Yay. What an achievement. Yeah. Gloomy grew to level 20. Sweet. We defeated preschooler Sarah and preschooler Billy. My Pokemon was cute. My Pokemon listened to what I said and fought for me. We got 416 for winning. Sweet! So there we go. Lumi is evolving. Okay, great. Go ahead and evolve, Lumi. Our shiny little pat rat is evolving, guys. So that's a great start to finish off a doubles battle with some preschoolers. It is by evolving a pat rat. So very cool. It is warping. It is turning into some weird stuff. And there we have it. Is that purple? Sweet! Congratulations, your Lumi evolved into Watchog. So sweet, uh, glad to have you, Watchog. Uh, you want to learn Confuse Ray, why not? You might as well learn a decent move. So let me go ahead and forget Tackle. And very cool, Watchog's like purple. I like that, so welcome to the team. Nicely done. You didn't win, but that was a good battle. Your Pokemon looked like they were having fun. Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokemon. There are many different people and many different answers. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it. Give it some thought. Let's roll. The Driftvale Drawbridge is just ahead. The champion is the strongest of the strong. That's all there is to it. All right, guys. So a lot of stuff is happening here. Uh, we have met the champion Alder. Uh, let me talk to him one more time. It's tremendous that people in Pokemon, each so different, can acknowledge each other and be together. All right, so very cool. The champion seems to be uh, very knowledgeable, very wise, and we'll see what is up ahead for us. So if you guys have any tips on the route and the bridge coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.